Looming over the Feather River, east of Sacramento, the Oroville Dam is a shadow of itself. Like most of California, too many rainless months have left it parched and dry. But just downstream, sits one of the state's most important resources for Chinook salmon, the Feather River Fish Hatchery. For thousands of Chinook or King salmon, the hatchery is the birthplace and final destination of a three-year journey to the ocean and back to spawn. So at the hatchery right now, we're spawning fall run Chinook salmon. We just got finished spawning our spring run Chinook salmon. For state fish and wildlife scientist Jason Julian, there's concern this drought will impact the fish as droughts have in the past. Uh, during the last drought, we saw a big decline in the number of fish that were returning our, to our rivers in the subsequent years. But here and at other hatcheries in Northern California, the fish are getting a helping hand. Inside the hatcheries, biologists collect the salmon eggs which are incubated, hatched, and raised. They're very faint. As the drought leaves rivers too warm for naturally laid eggs to survive, the hatcheries are picking up the slack. So typically, the Feather River hatchery produces six million fall run Chinook salmon smolts. This year, we are increasing that number by 1.75 million. Within the collection room, each column of trays holds more than 100,000 salmon eggs. We hope the increased production uh, will help offset some of those drought impacts uh, that we're anticipating this year. In nearby Shasta County, the National Coleman Fish Hatchery is also increasing its production of salmon by 2 million. With all the challenges they have now, we have climate change, we have the drought, we're taking measures to support these fish. Because salmon are on a three-year life cycle, the impact of the current drought likely won't be felt for several years. Because of the drought, if we didn't have extra help from the state, we'd be looking at three years from now fishing where we'd have very few salmon. John McManus of the Golden State Salmon Association applauds the state's move to increase production of young salmon. He calls it vital for California's struggling fishing industry. The salmon that come out of the Central Valley are the major economic engine for all these coastal communities. As the drought took hold of California's waterways, the state took the step of trucking the juvenile hatchery fish directly to the bay to give them a better chance of survival. Now as the environmental community casts a hopeful eye at the dark clouds gathering over the state, there's hope the work being done here will provide the silver lining. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.